Oh, the land down under. Home to the Sydney Opera House, Vegemite, the Great Barrier Reef, kangaroos, and the inland Taipan? The most venomous snake in the world? Okay, stay calm and hold still. This is a scene straight out of a Samuel L. Jackson movie. No, wait a minute, that was on a plane. But still, snakes, back away slowly. I said slowly! The good news is, only a handful of people, all snake handlers, have ever been bitten by this species and each survived with first aid and hospitalization. We can't say the same thing for those folks in the plane in that movie, though. Although the animal kingdom seems cute and fuzzy, some of these little guys pose some great threats. Venomous and poisonous animals bite, sting, spray, you name it, as a way to defend themselves against larger predators. And sometimes they mistake us for a species that is trying to steal their food. Today, Brainiacs, we'll talk about the animal kingdom and all the poisonous and venomous critters and creatures that roam our planet. Plus, we try to figure out why the heck they need to sting you in the first place and what effect that may have on our bodies. But before we chat about the Animal Kingdom, you humans watching, yes, you, don't forget to make sure to turn on that notification bell for more videos from us, your channel ensuring your survival. Now, back to our regularly scheduled program. Let's sink our teeth into the differences between venomous and poisonous animals. Get it? Because, you know, snakes sink their teeth into your skin when they bite you? No? Okay, moving on. The difference ultimately comes down to the method of delivery. Venoms can be injected into the body to be effective. When a venomous snake bites you, like the infamous inland Taipan snake found in Australia, its teeth sink deep into your skin, releasing a toxic substance into your bloodstream. Depending on the snake and the type of venom it releases, though, their effects will vary, but it's essentially all bad news, especially for your circulatory and nervous systems. If the venom affects your circulatory system, it can increase or decrease your blood pressure, making it either hard or really easy to gush out the toxins from your system. On the other hand, if the venom hits your nervous system, it can stop sending nerve signals to your muscles, which can cause paralysis. Poison, on the other hand, is different. It can be transmitted to you through touch, ingestion, or even inhalation. Take the poison dart frog, probably the most poisonous animal on earth. Don't be fooled by its enticing colors. At just two inches long, it has enough venom to KO 20,000 mice or 10 adult humans. Only two micrograms of this lethal toxin, which is just the amount that would need to fit on the head of a pin, can take out any mammal, no questions asked. In fact, these amphibians are called dart frogs because their toxic secretion was used in the past to poison the tip of blow darts. But what type of threat do these animals actually pose to us? Amongst snakes alone, each year up to 5 million people worldwide are estimated to be bitten by these slithering creatures. But turns out that not all poisonous and venomous bites are created equal. Some are more lethal than others depending on three characteristics, dosage, potency, and the speed of distribution. Depending on these three factors will determine how deadly a bite, sting, or even mere contact will be. Because venomous animals deliver their toxins directly into their enemies, they tend to be more dangerous than poisonous creatures. Your best line of defense against these creatures is to, one, be aware of what poisonous or venomous animals are indigenous to the area you're in, and two, to remember as much detail as possible so the doctors can diagnose you with the proper anti-venom or correct medical procedure. But now that we know the difference between venomous and poisonous animals, here are just a few examples of these creepy, crawly, deadly creatures. Take the Asian tiger snake. It's venomous from its bite, but also poisonous from the toxins it stores in its skin that comes from the toads that it eats, making it one of the only species of snakes that is doublingly lethal. Then there's the Brazilian wandering spider. In 2007, they were rated the most venomous animal on the planet by the Guinness Book of World Records. The high dosage of serotonin in the Brazilian wandering spider's venom is extremely painful and can lead to paralysis. Then there's the good old scorpion. This bad boy is called the Death Stalker. You can instantly tell to stray away from this deadly creature because of the pale yellow slash translucent appearance. While these creatures may look delicate, this little guy poses quite a great deal of pain. Its venom can also lead to respiratory failure. And don't even get me started if you have heart problems or allergies. And then there's the pufferfish. While the sea creature may look all cute and friendly, its tetrodotoxin is deadly up to 1,200 times more more than cyanide. 
There is no known antidote to the pufferfish toxin, but that doesn't stop people from enjoying this Asian cuisine delicacy. Called fugu in Japanese cuisine, you have to pay a pretty penny to eat pufferfish, and it can only be prepared by a trained and licensed fugu chef. Now that you know the difference between venomous and poisonous animals, and you understand how their toxins can affect your body, we think that you're ready to get back out there. You deserve this vacation to Australia, Aussie Town, whatever you want to call it. Inland type Ponds? Nah, I heard they're hard to come across anyway, so that shouldn't stop you. So get back to the Outback. At least it wasn't a King Cobra snake. Then you'd really be in trouble. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more information on how to survive in this terrifying world. Apparently, even the animals are here to get us.